Hey guys, welcome back to Airstream Beginner Basics Bootcamp. I'm your host, Evan, and in this week's video, we're going to be going over our top five most used items that we've ever bought for our Airstream. And stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to give you a bonus one of the most used item that we've ever, ever bought, and we use it every single trip. Did you just spend your entire life savings on a brand new Airstream? Dropped $100,000? How do you even buy an Airstream? How often do we gotta service these things? Are you scared to death that you're about to break it? Are you wondering what's the difference between payload and tongue weight and does it even matter? How do I get insurance on this? Do I need total replacement or should I just go with Geico? Do we drain the black tank first or the gray tank first? How do you even dump this thing? What is a black tank flush? What are those little pods we put down the toilet and do they even make a difference? Do we really need a hitch lock? There's like 10 different Facebook groups. Which one do I even join? What do we need to buy immediately just so we can go camping? If you found yourself answering yes to any of those questions, this new series is for you. Welcome to Airstream Beginner Basics Boot Camp, where I'm gonna go over all the tips and tricks that I've learned in the last year and a half of owning a brand new Airstream, and I'm gonna give it to you straight because I've got the whole book of secrets right here and I'm ready to divulge all of them to you. And with that being said, welcome to Airstream Beginner Basic Bootcamp. I'm your host, Evan, with Tilly and Tacoma, and we hope to see you out in your Airstream real soon. Coming in at number one is a hitch and a receiver lock from Proven Industries. We did a lot of research what lock to get when we were buying our Airstream and what everyone else recommended, and we came up with the conclusion that Proven Industries was simply the best. Made in the United States, they are lifetime warranty, they ship the same day, so we really highly recommend uh, Proven Industries. The lock is super well made, and also if you order the hitch and the receiver lock in the same order, it's the same set of keys that will unlock lock both the hitch lock and the receiver lock so we can't recommend them enough and they have some pretty cool colors that you can choose from so again that's the hitch and the receiver lock uh, from proven industries we will link all of these products in the description below so you can feel free to just click and you can shop and be on your merry way coming in at number two is a simple backup camera airstream will sell you a um, very high dollar one that you can pay for at when you when you get your airstream they can have it installed for you but you're looking at upwards of a thousand dollars that didn't seem economical to us when Amazon sells them for about $99 and they're solar powered. So again, we use this every single trip. I will link this also in the description. It's a simple solar powered uh, mountable backup camera that connects via Bluetooth to a little monitor that this package comes with. You keep the monitor in your, in your chill vehicle, it plugs into your cigarette lighter, you hit a button and it activates the camera. Just note that the version that we bought isn't always on. You have to push the button in order to get the, the actual scene from the back of the trailer, which has never been a problem for us. It just kind of comes into your routine of when you're towing and you need, a, you need to change a lane, you just hit the button, make sure you have clearance, then you change lanes. So again, this was only $99. The company was called AutoVox. We really highly recommend it. We've had it for two years. Everything's always been charged and it, it charges via solar power. There's a built-in battery. Again, this just mounts onto your back uh, license plate bracket of your Airstream or your travel trailer. No, no hard wiring done, nothing, very easy install. Highly, highly recommend this product. It's, it's been really great. It's been rained on, it's been mud. Um, yeah, it's super great. Every time we've used it, it's worked. And um, for $99, how do you beat that? Coming in at number three of our most used products is a memory mattress foam topper for our bed conversion. So in our base camp, we can lay down um, all of our cushions and the back converts to a pretty massive king size bed. We did try to sleep on it without any type of cushions just to see how we'd adjust. And it was pretty no bueno. I have a pretty bad back, just it just wasn't enough cushion for us and we are in our mid thirties. So. so I can't recommend this product enough either. It was about $150 off of Amazon. Again, linked in the description below. The brand was called Reci, R-E-C-C-I. I'm not sure if they still carry this exact one, but I will try to find a similar one if I can't find it at the exact one. This was a three inch mattress topper. At first I thought, oh, you know, I've, I've dealt with memory foam before and I was always told, oh, you must get eight, you must get 10. The three inch has been really great and it's just enough height to where you don't feel any of the cushions below you once you set it on top and that most of all the sheets that we've ever used still fit so it's a win-win situation in our 
and our book. We've also went full time in our on this mattress pad uh, for at least 30 days and we always sleep really good. So again, uh, invest in a really good mattress topper. I know Airstream Supply Company sells one for um, upwards of about $500 if you wanna go to get a, a whole mattress for that. The problem I've seen with that in the base camp, the ceiling height is pretty low. So raising it up, you know, say 10 inches or 12 inches with an actual mattress, it just meant I was gonna lose headroom in the back of the base camp, which I really didn't want to. Again, in a three inch mattress topper, we use every single trip and I highly, highly recommend. Coming in at number four is under cabinet lighting. This might seem like a little uh, low hanging fruit for most people. You know, you think you have overhead lighting in your trailer and you know, how dark could it be reaching into a cabinet? It can be very dark, that's how dark it can be. Um, and it's the last thing you wanna do when you're just, you're trying to get something really fast and you reach in somewhere and you can't get it and it falls and then it falls on the floor and it's just a big mess. So I highly recommend that you buy some very affordable under cabinet lighting from Amazon. Again, we'll link that below in the description. Um, for about $20, you can get two of them. I think we ended up getting about 12 of them. We have a lot of little uh, storage cabinets in the base camp and we mounted one on each individual cubby hole. And these are motion activated, so they're not on all the time. So as soon as it recognizes that you're putting your hand in, it illuminates and it's just really nice to have. These also recharge via USB-C so we can charge them directly off of our batteries from the base camp if we're boondocking or you can bring them inside. You can charge them if you have shore power. Um, they charge super fast. I'd say that they last about three months of continuous use on and off, and then we usually give them a recharge. It takes about an hour to recharge. And we bought these about two years ago, and they're still going strong. Um, they're LED lights, and they're super lightweight, and they mount um, with a magnet. So there's one adhesive sticky side for the magnet, and then you it's a metal bar, the actual light itself, and it just sticks up above, and whenever you need to recharge it, it just disconnects from the magnet, and then you charge it like that. And it's been a really great product. And coming in at number five will be a portable generator. And what that means to you may be a little different than what that means in our use case. So again, a portable generator is just a backup source of power in the event that you lose power. And we have lost power multiple times, either due because we thought we had enough solar or just things happen. So it's always a really great plan to have another backup source of power. And again, generators range from, you know, gasoline powered ones, really big ones. We wanted something very small, very portable that we could keep in the base camp at all times, just to use in case of emergency or we just needed to power a device super fast or whatnot. We bought the EcoFlow River Pro. Um, it's a, about a 700 watt portable electronic generator. It's basically a large, it's about the size of a car battery. It's a large lithium ion battery. Um, it charges in like an hour and we get like, I mean, a really long use of, we don't actually use it that often, but say like to charge our phones or charge our, you know, MacBooks or, you know, whatever we're needing it for, it lasts almost like three to six months, depending on how much we're using it. It also came with solar panels to replenish the energy. You can use a car adapter um, to do DC charging, you can do AC charging, and then you can do solar. So you have three different inputs that you can charge this device to provide power to, to, to your other devices in the event that you need it. So I would highly recommend that you consider having a external source of power and not solely rely on one source of thing in your Airstream. Because as we've learned in the last two years is accidents happen, power fails, a you know, circuit may blow. And when it's midnight and you really need light or you need something to charge your devices or just to get you through the night, um, maybe you need a portable fan, a portable heater. This one thing literally handles all of that. And we got it for under about $400. So again, it's paying for peace of mind and it will depend on your actual use case. But we really do highly recommend EcoFlow products. Um, um, we're not clearly sponsored from EcoFlow, but we have, uh, we, have a, we have a variety of their products and we'll continue to be um, a customer for life. All right, so you made it to the end of the video. I'm going to give you a bonus, a bonus uh, top item that we use every single time that we use the Airstream, and that is the Moonshade Portable Awning. 
Um, if you're not familiar with Moonshade or Moonshade products, it is a custom um, awning that you can place on your base camp or your Airstream. They have one specifically made for the base camp and it has individual anchors that the company made that goes into the heater rail. We highly, highly recommend that product. We use it every single trip that we go on. It blocks the sun, keeps you, keeps you dry once you're trying to get in and out of the Airstream. The door still, you know, functions as normal with some of the awnings that we were testing out. It would block the door, I'd hit my head trying to go in and out. Um, but with the Moonshade portable awning, you really can do a lot with it. You don't just have to put it on the front of the Airstream, you can do it in the back. Um, we have a back door. Best thing about the Moonshade is that it compiles to a little baby footprint that you can literally shove in a lot of crevices in the Airstream, which is great because it's super portable. So we highly recommend the Moonshade awning. We also have a discount code with Moonshade. Um, so if you're thinking about buying a awning, I would, I, I would advise you to look at portability, kind of look at the brand that you're buying from. They have a really great warranty in the event that you don't like it. It's kind of like a try it free for so many days. So yeah, if you're in the market for a, a portable awning, Highly recommend Moonshade, and if you use the coupon code Tillian Tacoma, which is just right here, you could click here, or you can use the description below, or you just type in Tilly and Tacoma, and you will save $30 instantly. It's a really great investment. That's something we bought um, before we took delivery of the Airstream, just because the product was recommended to us by so many different people. And it's held up for the last two years and kind of still looks brand new. And it's been rained on. It's been a multiple thunderstorm. Cannot recommend that enough. All right, guys, this wraps up this week's video. I just wanted to quickly go over our top five most used items that we've ever bought for our Airstream. Again, we bought these almost two years ago and we still use them every single trip. So that was money worth well spent. Maybe in another video, I'll go over the top five items that we bought that I don't ever use and maybe you shouldn't buy those. However, in this week's video, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying this series. Please comment and let us know if you are enjoying the series or if any of these items made your list. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we really do enjoy uh, making content for you guys. We've gotten so many comments and DMs on our Instagram, which is Tillian Tacoma. And just a quick shout out. Thank you all for getting us to over 500 subscribers. We started this channel almost a year ago and we had a goal to get 500 subscribers and we just hit over 575. So we are super excited. Um, thank you so much for watching our content, commenting. Um, I think it's just really cool that we get to do this and we get to share experiences with each other. And I know, you know, me and Kim, we love to watch other YouTubers and their journeys. And I don't know, I think it's just a really cool community. I think just learning and sharing all of these trials and tribulations just make everyone better at the end of the day. Until next time, I'm Evan with Tillian Tacoma, and we'll see you on our next episode. Bye.